What must you know fundamentally? Uh, is there one thing that you should know and through which you will know everything? Interesting question. If the, you can study everything and still be fragmented in your understanding, don't know anything. Is there a thing, something that you can know that gives you understanding about all things? Yes, there is. Now, wise it would be to find what this thing is. What is one thing, knowing which or recognizing which? Uh, not all things are known in detail. I mean, nobody wants to know all things in detail. Hmm? But they are known. Uh, the the fundamental nature of them is known. What is it? Understand what I means, not just mentally, because the understanding itself will occur inside the I and to the I itself. How to go about it? I can give you a simple start to that. You are standing here right now, and you, have, you know you are standing here at the microphone, no? Yes. That knowingness is natural. You didn't have to ask anybody, Am I standing here? You are already naturally here. Simple, simple. My teaching is so simple. Uh, you think, oh, he's so deep, and so, no, no, no. And simple, simple, simple. You see, it's, uh, your mind is deep, deep, deep. <laughs> I am. I am no depth. You are here, and this uh, awareness. I am. I am. Without the arising of this intuition, this knowingness, this natural knowingness, the sense I exist. That's your first knowing. You know you are. Before you can know anything else, you must know that you are. Is fair enough? That's a natural thing. Nobody even had to taught you that. Your parents did not teach you. Listen, your name is I. And I am means you exist. They didn't teach you anything like that. Naturally it arises, and that is the name of consciousness announcing itself in this field and in this body. I consciousness exist. I am. Natural, simple thing, simple thing. Not mystical, just natural knowing. If you just put the attention and rest in that natural knowing. There is no story, there is no history, just the sense, the intuition, I am. Sit with this, and don't let your attention contact any other thought. Don't combine with any thought or any feeling. Just be self-aware. That is called self-awareness. Simple enough or not? Yeah, just as you are. That natural sense of being, just you exist. Don't let the mind tell you any nonsense thing and some mystical and this is the super consciousness and you're going to super duper consciousness. Forget about all that stuff. Just you are here. Don't hold any information or any memory of yourself because the ego mind wants to take that and create some story. Just the intuition of being. A kind of emptiness. And be conscious of it. Without allowing the attention to connect up with other thoughts or feelings. So in the beginning, you may experience that the, the mind is just keep jumping in. Mind just keep coming. Yes. I've been doing this now for two minutes. Whatever. No. Just stay with this. And I can tell you what should happen, but I'd rather you tell me what you experience. And whether that is something you created or what you discover. We are speaking very simple today now. And all the complexities of how the life should be, and what you want to do, and what is the world, and what happens after you live and die, all these things, 
will find the right place and the appropriate time to manifest in consciousness. You simply stay. Don't identify with the body or with any self-image, just the intuition, the feeling of being, and it is already there. Don't ask me, how can I find the I Am? It's very simple, my words, very simple. Baby food. Be with this. Even now, just for a couple of minutes, you try now. After being here for so long, there must be within you a natural sense of spaciousness. Whereas before you would always think of yourself with some associate or seek reference for yourself through memory and feelings and thoughts and imagination, uh, by the time you have been here a little bit, you ought to be now experiencing a sense of expansiveness. It's true or not? Yes. 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 A sort of you can bear a feeling of just emptiness, and it feels you cannot describe uh, what that is, but you know that uh, it is auspicious to be here. Then simply pay attention to that. Simply, not as one thing to another. Just let attention be here. Just be here. Don't go skating off to some direction. And the mind, the mind stuff may pop up here and there. Don't try and fight that. Just stay as you are. Because if mind energy doesn't catch your attention and become personal, it just subsides into oblivion. Don't worry about that. It's happening automatically. You simply stay as you are. Let's not even call it meditation, don't call it anything at all. Just what I say. Don't try to become anything. Simply pay attention. What is here? Uncreated. Effortless. And uh, as you discover the natural sense of spaciousness and uh, contentment, a peace is present with you, a silence, a well, a well-beingness is there that does not need any external reference. And you are not in a creative process. So you are not on a journey. You are simply here. Present in presence. A thought may come, OK. Now what? No, no, no what? No next. So with this, something can relax. There is nothing to construct. There is nothing to fix. Nothing to change. Nothing to become. Simply paying attention. Not creating, not imagining, not forcing, not inviting, just being conscious of consciousness. Now you may feel sometimes some restlessness, because the mind is not getting its food. It's coming up some restlessness. You don't need to attend. 
to that restlessness. Be aware of it, but keep your attention in yourself. The mind may start to cry, but this is one baby, when it cries, you don't have to pick him up. Let him cry. Stay only in your neutrality. Do it. Don't wait for something to happen. You are the Self which does not happen. Like this, you will begin to notice all the scams and schemes of the mind. You have to do something, you have to change something. We are not getting anywhere like this. You know? How am I going to find a job like this? How am I going to be able to get rid of this? This chat, 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 chat. Don't give any attention to that. There is nothing there for you. Abide in your being. So don't be concerned about mind. It is never content. The belly of the mind is never full. When it's having breakfast, it's thinking, what's for lunch? When it's having lunch, what's for dinner? It is like that. So don't ride with that. Stay as you are. You are already the stillness. You already are the stillness, you see. Forget about becoming enlightened and bigger. touch nothing at all. Stay only like this. And notice that you are not suppressing anything. Not suppressing, natural as you are. Mind might come and say, Yes, but you were you still have a problem. This is your friend, long time. You're still not getting it. Don't give any attention to that. You who are not getting what? Just be. And like this, like this, you will come to see that life takes care of life. And so many other richness will come in terms of peace. There is no greater wealth than peace and contentment and joy and silence of being. This is the wealth of the human expression of consciousness. Everything else will leave but this. And because it was not constructed or created by you, I will ask you now, can it leave also? What you are discovering, can it leave? To go where? It is just that you have not paid attention in this way. Now, simply by paying attention, huh? just to the sense of being, not to an object, not to a shape, but just the natural sense of being. Remain conscious about it. No strain, no effort. Effort will come only if the mind catches your attention, and now you are trying to let go of mind, then effort will come. Don't touch mind. <clears throat> And you are in your Buddha nature right now. (coughs) 
nothing to remember. Nothing to become. Pay attention. And notice that you can move about. You can go and make your tea, and you can uh, cook your breakfast, you can answer your phone, send your emails, against this background of unchanging awareness, this field of total neutrality, immutable, uncreated, imperishable, unchanging. The more you spend time simply like this, and not trying to do and trying to meditate and to get rid of the thoughts and to kill the ghost and to no, just pay attention to yourself. Because it was the first knowing, the first arising in consciousness, the sense I am. Pay attention to this. Sense I am. It has no history. It is not concerned about time or future or managing existence. Everything is unfolding spontaneously. But who will hear? This will be the purest of meditation and the simplest. Don't seek to get anything material out of it. Simply pay attention. At a certain point, even attention is merging with it. There is only it. If there is some tension felt in the body, it is not because of this. Maybe it is not because of anything. So don't give it to the mind and say, Oh, yeah, but I am feeling tense, OK? I am feeling tense means I am feeling tense. That is all. Not, oh, that means I'm, I am didn't get it, and it's more. No, don't. Now you are in a state of discovering. You are not discovering more and more things to discover. Just a concentrated awareness, you may say, or consciousness. And now whatever comes, let it come. Uh, it will be inside your harmony. That's it. Good advice? Yes. Followed? Yes. Found? Yes. Happy? Finished? Oh, just check in. Yeah.